What's up everybody, today's day 165 and uh, today I actually told you guys uh, in the last vlog that I was going to do a little rant. An appropriate time now to do it since uh, um, I've been feeling about this for quite some time. The rant I'm actually going to talk about is uh, I finally took care of some baggage, if you know what I mean. What that means is uh, that I've tried so many times to get back together with her and I, you know, I'm done. I'm physically done. I am exhausted. I don't know what to do with her, so I am just cutting her loose. A lot of you know who I'm talking about, uh, if you're my friend, and uh, a lot of you don't. I'm not going to say who it is. Uh, she knows who she is. She Obviously, she unfriended me today because of it. The main reason why she unfriended me is probably because of these two posts. Uh, I'm going to show you right now. Uh, one said, uh, I spent $15 to get you out of my life. The best $15 I ever spent. And the other one was, um, the quote of the week in the house is, fuck that bitch. I mainly said that, well, the, the quote, because, um, mainly we've been having a lot of issues in this house with girls. My cousin Will broke up with his girlfriend a while back. Uh, it was mainly it's issues with her, uh, per se, that he said she needs to work out, and he walked away because... Uh, she, she had something, but I had, I had no problem with her. No one in this house had no problem with her. Uh, she just had issues herself, but you know, I, I'm not gonna judge. And then the issue with me and this, this girl. I, like I said, I've tried and tried to get through to her and nothing. And the $15 pertains to, uh, I actually bought this girl away home and she says she's gonna pay me back. I don't really wanna go up there and get money from her. I, I had this conversation with, with my roommates and they said, honestly, dude, don't bother to go back up there. And Robert made the, the cases. Think of it this way, you spent $15 to get her out of your life. And I said, that's true. I'm saying this, I, I'm done. I don't want anything to do with her anymore. That's it, I, I've had it and it's time for me to move on. I've tried moving on several times before because she dumped me uh, a long time ago and that's one of, my, one of the main reasons why I went to film school to actually get away. To get away from everybody she knows and get away from her. I tried to be friends with her. I, I made, I you know, kept her on Facebook and I, I talked to her once in a while, I text her and you know what, I, I tried to get back together with her and she wasn't having that, so I said, you know what, I, I just need to get away. And I stopped talking to her. Several months later, she starts talking back, you know, through text. And, you know, leaving stuff on my Facebook wall and stuff like that. And the surgery happened. She started playing with my emotions. She saying that, you know, the stuff I, I got her in the past, because I, I bought her stuff for her birthday and I bought her stuff for Valentine's Day. And she still kept it. And she would leave me a text like, you just made me cry because uh, I just read your your Valentine that you gave me last year. I was like, well, why do you still have that? She's like, I don't throw stuff away. Well, what do you think that does to my fucking brain? Well, she does that or her her mom would tell her, you know, you, you made a mistake, you know, Victor's a good guy. And it just fucks on my mind. Why would you want to do that to me? And then the, the thing that tops it all off is, I invited her to my graduation, and, you know, I, I, I just try to be friendly. It's like, I know I wasn't going to do anything with her. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm just done. It really pisses me off that she, she doesn't really care about my fucking feelings. I, 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 I'm just, I'm tired of it. And honestly, I, I've tried to go on dates with other girls and I've tried to talk to friends at work and I, I honestly don't want to I don't want to date a girl at work again I've got burned so many times my past two girlfriends were girls I worked with I, I, I don't want to do that anymore I, I'm just I'm, I'm glad I live here in Southern California I, because if I was up north I'd 
really fucking kill myself. I'm, I swear to God, I'm tired of this shit. And you know what? I made so many friends here that this because I've talked to friend, film school friends in the past about her, um, and I kind of make jokes like I, I did at uh, graduation about uh, inviting her to to the graduation. I'm done. I'm tired of this. I'm done. So I, I threw away all her pictures. The pictures I have of her and us together, I, I threw them away. The, the fucked up thing is, she left something behind. She uh, left a stuffed animal that she got at Santa Monica Pier and left it here. Now I see it. And I'm tempting to throw it away. Like I said, I don't want anything to do with her. I have pictures on my hard drive of her. That I am seriously considering deleting as soon as this is over with. I'm done with the stress of her and actually done crying about her. It's, it's done. I mean, she, she's one of the, the first girls that really dumped me and I went into depression because of it. it. It affected my work and it, it affected everything. And it also gave me inspiration to uh, do a lot of drama at, at film school. And you know what? That's the only good thing that came out of that relationship. Is she, she did kind of inspire me, but I, I'm tired of it. And I just want to be happy again. Uh, I just, I, that's all I have to say about her and I'm never going to talk to her ever again. And I, I even told uh, Robert that um, before I upload this, I'm going to leave a message to her mom and her brother. They're the ones that really want me to be with her. And I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I, I can never be with her because she says she's changed and she hasn't. This whole medical scare of, you know, her having the surgery and having a, a near-death near death experience says she changed for the better and I did not see that. Now she says I changed, well mainly I was trying to be an asshole. I was getting annoyed with, uh, with uh, how she was acting in front of me, talking uh, to her friends and not talking to me, you know talking about guys to her friend on the phone while I'm sitting in, in the room. And I, I even told uh, my roommates that, honestly, that the trip up to Santa Monica, I wished I got out of the fucking car and got as far away from her as I could. I, I, I even said Robert. Robert, uh, on Saturday, I even said to Robert, on Saturday night, I was like, dude, I'm done. I, I want nothing to do with her. I had to deal with like another day of being with her, but you know, no, it was Friday night, uh, Friday or Sunday, but I was like, I didn't want to be with her anymore, and I couldn't wait for her to leave on Sunday morning, and that's another thing too, she said that she had a whole bunch of shit to do, and I knew she went out with friends because she posted on Facebook that she went out. I said, fine, whatever, but you know what, I, I'm done, I am not going to be someone's backup. And I think that's what she wants me to be because she's been rejected by so many fucking guys. It's like, I'm not somebody's backup plan. If you want me, you know where you can find me. I said this in day 13, that I'm tired of your bullshit and I'm tired of seeing Facebook status stuff. And like I, I, I told all my friends, if she wants me, she knows where I'm at. Uh, honestly, as of now, I don't love her anymore. I used to, I used to care about her and I still I have those feelings. Don't get me wrong, I still have those feelings for her where I still care about her, care about her son. But in terms of loving her, I don't love her anymore. And it, it took me now to see this, but you know, I felt fine until this whole surgery thing came at me and then she tried to get me with the feelings again, the gullibleness, and I, I'm done. I'm physically done. Yeah, that's all I have, guys. Um, I'm sorry if I went a little personal with this it's it's my life guys and, and this is the only time I really get personal and um, this is very 
one of the very few times I actually do get personal these vlogs and because it it just weighed a lot on my shoulders this whole weekend and I'm glad it's over this weekend over with because it, it kind of ruined the rest of my graduation weekend and I was, I was debating about going up north because I have friends up there and they haven't seen me since graduation uh, actually they haven't seen me at all since like January and I just graduated and a lot of them were happy that I went to film school and, and some of them weren't and they'll see me now that I'm a graduate um, they might throw me a party I'm not sure but Will is telling me like don't go up there you're gonna go see her and I, I don't want to see her ever but I do have friends up there that I want to go see but I don't know because I do have five days off and usually by the second day I want to go home I can't do it guys uh, Thank you for listening to me if you stayed through this whole video um, and, and leave a comment if you want me to stay personal to these, these vlogs because I, I, I've had a lot of stuff to say and I tend to, tend to put it on the back burner because I don't know if I should get personal with these vlogs or not. Uh, let me know uh, and I will if you want me to and like I said, if she sees this she knows how I feel and she doesn't because she normally doesn't see my videos unless uh, I tell her to go see them but like I said we're not on Facebook anymore not Facebook friends so I guarantee she's not going to see it her mom and her brother will but I'm going to leave a message to them explaining why I did this but that's going to do it guys uh, tomorrow is one more day of work and it's off for five days so I'm trying to stay positive and see if I can do something this weekend because I need to get so I need to do something before I go fucking crazy, and this really bothers me. That's it. I will see you tomorrow for the next vlog, and possibly a sub day tomorrow. Good night.